What really intrigued me about William Lamson's work is how inventive and how almost like a mad scientist he is. His willingness to really push the boundaries of installation and sculpture and to make art out in the landscape that still has a relevant experience inside the gallery. The project that I did for the IMA is called Divining Meteorology, and it involved taking a 120-foot communications tower, dividing it into three parts, and reassembling it inside itself. It's a beautiful, elegant form that's been harvested from man-made objects, but what's activating it, what's making it interesting, um, is how he's wired it and created a musical instrument out of it. We installed speakers and resonators that, when I use it as an instrument, basically using an electric guitar pickup to detect subtle vibrations in the metal, that signal is fed back into the, into the speakers and the resonators, creating this feedback loop, which creates both an acoustic and a kind of physical resonant frequencies. This is less about making a score and more about moving forces in, in directions and kind of and listening to them. This object has been in the landscape for years, kind of enduring the forces of nature, and then it's been turned into this instrument with this kind of constant present moment of the weather radio, the current live weather radio. The weather radio, if you listen to it for long enough, it's like incredibly boring, but when it comes in every now and then, it always kind of astonishes me, this kind of real-timeness of this relatively old-school technology. You can get really caught up in trying to understand exactly how it works, but I would encourage our, our audience and our visitors to just experience it and almost accept the kind of unknowability of it in the same way that we experience nature.